Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about what I've been doing rather than showing you more R. And I think you'll find this interesting, especially if you've watched the uh, six tutorials on how to create a blog down Hugo website. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through this entire process that I'm doing right now, but I am gonna show you that I do have it on GitHub and you can go ahead and pull it and play with it if you want. The goal for me was to take all of my videos. Now I have multiple channels, so I might have uh, four or 500 videos total, that's a lot. But on my R channel, I might have maybe 60 or 70, right? So what I wanna do, my, my intention is to create a automated flow where it takes all those YouTube videos, downloads them all to my hard drive, the metadata, the thumbnails, the closed captions that are auto-generated. If I can get all that data, I can create a blog post automatically and I've I'm getting pretty successful at that right now. Last two days I've been playing with it. Probably I put in a lot of hours, maybe 10 hours in two days, maybe three days or something like that. But um, so what I have now is right now, what you see is this program called YouTube-DL that's downloading all of my content. I had to figure out configuration files for that to get it to download the correct things in the right order without breaking, et cetera, et cetera. I have all that, it's all in my GitHub and I'll walk you through it, but I'm not gonna walk you through it in this tutorial. So. In the next couple tutorials, if you're used, if you're interested in creating dynamic web pages based in R Studio, then you know stay tuned for a while. Basically, what I do though is I have two different files, right? Um, so that's downloading, and it's going to create all the stuff in all these folders everywhere. And what I do is I have two different files. I have one here that what I use it for is to convert, okay, what do I need? Let's move them to my project file based on the YouTube download stuff. Uh, let's convert things from like one format to another. Let's strip spaces, et cetera, et cetera. I do all that. I do some like pre-processing with that. It's not a lot of code, but I'll walk you through that uh, later in more detail. And then I have another file here. Now this one actually creates RMD files for me. Now if you see down here on my right hand side, the bottom right, all of these RMD files, every single one of them, and the HTML that comes with it because it's been rendered. But think about the RMD, I only have a few here because I didn't download all of them yet. But all of these, every single RMD file, I did not create. I did not create a single one of them. But let me click on one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that script that you just saw, this one, YouTube to RMD that I created, I'm gonna show you how to do that one in the next tutorial and in a very basic way. I'm gonna say, hey, let's use a script and create an RMD file. And this is all it creates, right? Uh, it puts the YAML code, which is up top, the YAML that I chose and picked, and I still have to fix the tags. I didn't do the tags yet, but the categories I've got, ooh, I could do cat. I could do multiple categories. Eh, anyways, <laughs> of course I can, but my categories are gonna basically be like in my blog. You'll be able to you'll be able to select it just like you'd click a playlist on the YouTube. I've got some embedded uh, links here, which um, will take you to the YouTube. I know you can't see the site from this. I've got a lot of blank space I need to get rid of. But then I have all of my narrative. This is the YouTube closed captions that they gave me. So that's a good head start. Like, hey, I can like t turn this into an actual like grammatically correct blog post pretty easy now that I have all this ready to go. Now, this was created for every single video that I had that I downloaded. So if I click on another one, I can delete these right now, re-render it, it's back back in no time, right? So I have all these RMD files. And now what happens with the RMD files if they're in your post directory of a blog down Hugo site? When you render or serve your site, it renders all of those posts, those RMD files that I didn't create and creates actual HTML, like it embeds the HTML, creates the files, and you have a site. So this is an automated way to make a website. Let me give you a quick show of my site. And of course, it all gets pushed to GitHub, which goes to Netlify, and then it's uh, auto-deployed. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna pull a, a tab over and I'll just show you what I have up there today. Now, this is still just, I'm just playing with it. I've got a lot more work to do. But look, I've got thumbnails. I've got this nice, elegant way to look at it. And it works mobile friendly as well. And I like the mobile friendly version as well. But I can click on any one of these, let's say the first one. And I've got my thumbnail here. I've got my R blog down site, like category. You can have multiple categories, by the way. You can, I just haven't done that yet. Um, but then it's got all my narrative, right? And I didn't write that narrative, YouTube did. So it's like, how can we automate the heck out of this? And then if I click on this, it'll go to my YouTube video. So I might even make it so it's an external click, I'm not sure, but there it is, right? So uh, if I click on categories, you can see all the categories I have. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to match those to my playlist automatically so that my playlists are like, hey, it's not a category, it's a playlist, but it's on my website. Um, 
And then tags I haven't done yet, but tags will be something similar. It'll be whatever tags I have in YouTube on those um, particular videos, I'm gonna import them in. And then eventually, of course, I will, I will update the blogs to be legit blogs. But I think this is gonna help with SEO traffic. Like, hey, you've got a lot of content on there. Bring somebody to my site. And then of course I can add a discuss channel where you can comment on it. I can, what, I, what I really wanna do is make sure the code is there for you. So right now I haven't really been giving people code because it's, I just didn't really have a good convenient way to do that. But now I do, I'm gonna start uh, creating an RMD file with the code, which is funny. I actually had a description in my YouTube video that had like exact code you need in the RMD file. But because I was pulling the description and putting it into my RMD file, I was my RMD file was writing was rendering code that came from YouTube, so it was rendering that code, which caused an error because it was actually dealing with like local hard drive stuff, which you don't want to not really with an RMD file that you hand off to somebody because you can't store and save things through most browsers. Anyways, so this is it. It's it's a very nice. Uh, it's a good start, and like I said, it's all coming from the Hugo blog down netlify and github all of this came from that so i will walk you through bits and pieces of this throughout some tutorials and i hope that they're um useful for everybody that being said let's let's call it a day and um i will leave the link to the github at the bottom so you can at least clone it and mess with it if you choose to you're going to need a lot of help probably with the youtube dash dl uh, hopefully I'll have a post for that as well. I do want to keep this R specific, but I do think that since I'm using R, this is relevant to the channel. So if you guys like this type of information and you want to do this, um, please subscribe and follow and share and like and all of that good stuff.